Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we're going to decorate these really cool wine boxes. Now these came from the works and they were five pounds each. So these make really great presents. So you can decorate them to any decor that you want and make it suitable for who you're, you're giving them to. So they come literally just plain like this, plain wood, and they've got some string at the top. So it's up to you whether you want to keep that or you want to change it. So what I'm going to do is decorate them slightly differently. One of them I'm going to use rice paper and the rice paper that I'm going to use is this one here and I thought this was really cute because it's got the wine bottle and the grapes and everything like that on so that's going to be in a slightly different kind of style to the other one. So it's not my normal style but I thought it would really go with having um, a wine bottle so I think that would look nice so we'll decorate it using that, obviously paint as well. And this one I'm going to do it white and um, do, do the normal, bit more my normal style really, with a shabby chic. And I might use this napkin, but I'm definitely going to paint it white and maybe distress it or do something with that. So I'm going to start now. They're going to take me, well I'll leave them to dry for a little while, so we'll make a start now and um, we'll paint them up and I'll show you step by step how to do it. Right, for this one, I'm going to use the Vintage with Grace paint, a chalk paint, and this one is Mr. Darcy. I thought it was a really cool colour and it really matched in, especially with the top um, of that. I thought the colour would go quite nice. And they are going to be really different, so one's going to be quite light and more my style, but look at how dark that is. But we can always try some tricks. We can lighten it up if it comes on quite dark, so it doesn't matter too much if it goes on too dark. So what I'm going to do to start with is I will take out this because um, obviously it will get all filthy if we try and um, paint that on. But let's pop this on and see how it goes on. But this is really, it's a lot darker than it looks on the front. So we'll see how it dries. So we'll put this on and we can do like some different techniques over the top. But on the front it actually looks a little bit more greeny. Didn't quite expect it to be this dark. Right, so I'm just painting the box now in this black. And you often find though that if you start something and maybe the colour's slightly different to what you think, it really doesn't matter because you can chop and change it, you can add colours, you can do all sorts of different things. So it really doesn't matter too much and I think what I'm going to do is put a lighter colour over the top and then kind of just stress it but it would also look really nice with a crackle so if you did like a crackle effect I think that would look pretty cool too so we'll just see how it goes because I haven't planned this at all but I like it that way I think we should just go for it and see how it all works out so I'm going to paint this one so I've got to go to work very shortly so I'm going to paint this leave this to dry and um, then we'll sort it all out when it's all dry and when I'm back home. Right, so while that one's drying, I've just got time to paint this one. So I'll do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to do a different colour. I'll take this out to start with. Now, the um, Vintage with Grace do a white paint that's, they're quite similar, but one's quite white it's like a brilliant kind of white and then the other one's a bit more creamy I'll show you those so this is the the one that's really quite white and that one's called Belgium lace and this one here is grandma's pearls so if I put them together you can see that there's a slight difference in those and also Paula of the fairy chic emporium she does loads of different and uh, colors as well so this one's quite um, white you can barely see it on the paper so she does all sorts of different ones if you wanted to check out both ladies. Um, right, so we're going to start and paint these now. So I haven't decided if I'm going to um, just dress this one or what I'm going to do with it. So um, I think sometimes it's best just to jump in. I think if you think about things too much, it, um, it takes over a little bit. So we'll put that on. And it will probably need maybe a couple of coats because this is going to be sort of my main coat the the other the mr darcy that i've already done that won't need another coat because it's going to have a different color on the top so that one's absolutely fine so i'll just paint this one and it was just it's just literally painting it so i won't show you that and um once they're i'll give this another coat and then once they're dry we'll start on um the next step 
Okay, so this one's dry now, and what I'm going to do is to use this stamp and some of this modelling paste, and we're going to put this over the top and kind of um, give it a different effect. So it's a little bit of it's a little bit raised, and you can get this this pattern. I don't know if you can see it in the light. It's like a bit of a lacy pattern. So this is the Tom Holtz collection there. You can use this sort of layering and things like that. So I'm just going to position it there. You can put some tape down. That's quite handy if you've got like a little bit of frog tape or painter's tape. So we'll just pop that there. This just holds it in place. And then I'm just going to use one of these little knives here. As you can see, it's just a quite a light paste and all you do is go over the top it's a bit like icing a cake I suppose really I'm just going to go over it and smooth it down and then we'll just take the the stencil off right so once you've done that I'm going to very carefully peel the tape off and then peel up the stencil wipe that little bit away there and as you can see I'm hoping it's showing up on the camera there you've got the raised part and I just think it looks really pretty so we're going to paint over the top of that again and I really like the edge the um it gives like a little border around the edge so I'm going to keep that because I think that looks pretty cool and I'll do another little bit in the same way there and um, I think I'm not sure whether to put some on the other side or where to put the napkins I don't know I'll see I'll let that dry and then I'll see what I want to do next. Right, so while that's drying, I'm going to pick out um, for the lid part here, I'm going to pick out certain bits of the flowers and put those on. And this is the napkin that I'm going to use. So I'll be using some of that on there as well. Um, but I think this will look quite cute, but I'm not going to do all of it. I've got to also allow for the runner to sort of go in and out. So I'm just going to pick bits out of the stencil and just do those. Right, so it's dry now. If you wanted to carry on doing this pattern, then what I would do is, because there's actually a border there, I'd probably wait for it to dry and then um, kind of match the pattern up, but just sort of do it so you don't, um, incorporate the border so that is probably what I do so you've got a bit of an overlap but I think I'm going to try and put some decoupage on, decoupage on here so I'm not going to do any more of the stencil um, all I'm going to do is just paint over this now with the same colour paint that I used underneath and then once that's dry this paint's dry that I'm doing now we'll be able to just put some of the the napkins over the top so it's a really similar colour anyway so I'm just going over the top with this and then I've done a bit of a design on the lid as well so I'll, I'll go over that I'm not sure if it's picking up too well on there but it does look quite pretty and this is what I did with the lid and then we'll put some napkin in between and that should look pretty cool just give it a different effect I thought that'd be quite nice okay the next step we're going to put on the napkin so I found the napkin here I'm going to take this part out and I'm just going to do it in exactly the same way that we normally do go around it with some water and this actually loosens the the napkin and just makes it easier to sort of tear and then um, once we've done that we'll just apply it and I'm going to use the um, matte finish from Paula, which is the Fairy Chic Emporia. I'm just going to use that just to pop it on. It's quite a nice glue, it's not too thick. 
so I use that one. Okay. Then we're going to separate the plies. So you get three plies with a napkin and you just need the top part. And you also need some cling film. And this just helps to um, um, helps you to be able to smooth it out. So I'll just pour some of this in the lid. And we're going to put it on this section here. Now it doesn't matter if the napkin's larger than the area we're going to put it, put it on because um, we can just sort of sort the end bits out. I'll show you a little trick if we need to. Just pop that there. And then we'll just lay this over the top where we think it will look nice. And then just use this just to smooth it out. And these bits at the top here, once they're dry, we'll be able to get those off. Now I'm showing you different techniques on this. Um, you could go along with, you could do all of it with the stencil. Um, you could just do napkins, but I wanted to show you sort of different techniques on on one piece, just so you could kind of decide what you wanted to do. You don't have to mix and match them. So as you can see there, that's um, looks quite pretty. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn this round, do the same on that side, and then I'm going to do a little bit of napkin decoupage on the top. And um, then once that's dry, I'll show you how to take these bits off. So all you need to do is just to get a nail file and the bit that you want to take off, you just use the nail file and just push it away. Don't push down that way um, or it won't work and it'll kind of make it all messy. So just do that and then that takes away that top edge and it leaves it really kind of neat. Um, so I'll just do the bottom bit and also what I've decided to do is to carry on this pattern um, because I think it looks a little bit bare here. So all I need to do once I've done this um, it's kind of flip over the stencil and I'm just going to go in between the, the napkin, the floral pattern just to give it sort of like more of a continuous kind of effect because it stops as a, a real kind of block there. Just notice it's a little bit on the side as well. And all I've done just put a little bit on the top there because I think that looks pretty cute. So all I'm going to do with this is work out where the pattern is and just match it up. So I'll bring it over so it sort of matches and the, the pattern's continuous and I'm going to use the modelling paste and I'm just going to fill in in between where the um, where the floral amount is, and that should be um, that should kind of make it look a bit a bit more continuous. I'll just show you very carefully. So I'm going to hold this here. This needs to stay in the same place, and I'm just going to work around the pattern. Okay, so we're going to move now back over to this box. This is dried and the other one is just drying now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like um, a crackled effect. Now there's various different methods that you can do for the crackle. So I'll explain a few and then you can do what's easiest for you or what you've got the supplies for. Now Paula at Fairy Chic Emporium actually sells a crackle um, medium that you can actually use. I don't have any. If I did, I would have used that because I really like her matte finish. You can also use Mod Podge. So if you've got some Mod Podge, you can use that. Now how you um, use this is you paint the base coat first and it needs to be a darker colour and then you paint on a layer of the Mod Podge over the top when it's dried and before the Mod Podge dries you then put the top layer of a contrasting colour over the top. Now don't go over and over with your brush because it will kind of smudge it and it, it won't give the right effect so do as least amount of brush strokes as you can over the top and that will give you a crackle effect. 
Now, Mod Podge do do a crackle, um, like a fine crackle um, effect. I have got some of that, but I've never used it before, so um, I'm not going to use it in this instance. So that is one way that you can do it. I've also got this weathered wood crackle medium. Now, it does say to use it on acrylic paint, but I'm just going to try. I tried it on a little... Um, piece of wood earlier on and I quite liked it the only thing is with this one you have to put it on and then let it dry first and then over the top you paint a layer of your um your top coat your contrasting color and then the crackle happens but what I'll do when I paint it is you will still be able to see some of the black underneath because it's quite a dark color underneath so it's going to be hard to cover it in just one coat but I think that that's going to look quite nice I think it's going to give quite a nice effect once we've finished putting the decoupage, the rice paper over the top, I think it will all blend in okay. So don't panic if it looks a bit sort of smudgy when you first kind of do it. So I'm just going to put some of this over the top and it just says to apply a thin layer. So, but this obviously will have to dry. It gives it like a bit of a sheen as well. So you can see where you've, you've put it. I mean, I suppose I could have done these both of these boxes in separate videos because they are quite different but I suppose because they were they're both them wine boxes I thought I'd do them in the same one but they're taking a little longer than I thought so there we go that's all done now I'm going to let that dry and then we'll put over our top layer of paint now the paint that I'm using is um, Paula's Fairy Chic paint I'm going to go for that colour I think that will go nicely with the rice paper that I'm going to put around the edge because these are the sorts of patterns that I'm going to do around the edge so I thought that would look hopefully look quite nice um, but I think that's the thing with crafting sometimes you do things they don't turn out quite as you'd sort of imagine so you just do something else you just add something or you know change it so don't be worried about experimenting with different colours. I think sometimes we play it safe, don't we, and stick to what we know. I know I definitely do. Um, but it's about trying new things. So I'm going to let that dry. And with regards to the rest of this, inside, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to crackle it. I'm not 100% certain. I might do the bottom. I don't know. Um, and I'll just do exactly the same with the outside so we can get the crackle effect. But I'll start and do that now so everything's all ready, but I'll do that off camera. Um, and then once this is dry, I'll show you how to do the top part. Right, so we're just going to go straight over the top. All right, I've got to be careful now because I've... When you go over it too much, can you see it sort of does that? So... Let's leave that for now. We'll let that dry. That will crackle off. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing for the rest of it as well. Now, decorating wise, we're going to decorate this top, um, the lid. And as you can see, the crackles come out quite nice. I quite like the effect that it's given. Now, for this um, rice, rice paper here, all I did was cut out a shape to fit on the top and I just went round it with the water and the paintbrush the same way and just kind of frayed the edges and I'm just going to stick it down just in exactly the same way with the uh, matte finish. I'll just paint on here and then I'll just stick this over the top and then go over the top with um, another layer of matte finish. Right so since I saw you last, time has gone on, I have decoupaged the side these are all these are all done and I've put that on the side and I just went round with a tiny little bit of paint around the edge just to blend it in but it was a pretty good match. I've done the top, the little sliding part but I did mess up the, um, the crackle on the top so what I had to do was kind of patch it up and put some of these grapes at the top. There is, I don't know if you can see, there is like a little bit of a seam that you can see there so what I've done is I've made a little bow like that I just got a piece of this ribbon let me reach over and find the ribbon just got a piece of this folded it to make a bow and then wrapped a little bit of this around the middle like that and then all I'm going to do is just stick that on the front and that will just hide this part so 
like I said to you, if you do things wrong, you can just you can just hide it. <laughs> you can just cover it with something else. So don't worry too much. I'll put a big big splodge of glue on there. And then that's just going to set. So I'll just leave that to set. But I think those colours go really nicely anyway. So this one is all around about done. Okay, so we're going to move on to this one now. Um, what I'm going to do for this is I've cut out some of these little... Um, it's lace and ribbon in pearls. And I think it's super cute. I'm going to put that along the side so you've kind of can see the decoration from the side and all I'm going to stick that on with is some hot glue so I'm just going to run that along the top and then just stick this on I just think that will look really sweet so as you can see there's two different designs and you but you can again adapt it to the style your style you know you don't have to do what I'm doing some people don't like floral which is fine I do so that's why I tend to do some designs like this I'm just stick this down and I'm going to put this around three sides so I'm not going to put it around the top and I'm also going to change the um, the top part you know this let me just reach this in this one on this design I've put this one back in that came with it um, but on this one I'm going to put some something different because I think it needs to be slightly different on this I think the the plain rope that came with it looks a little bit boring for this design so I'm going to kind of chop and change that up a little bit so what I'll do is I'll go all the way around this and um, and then we'll put the the little thread through the top I'm just going to put this through the top Right, so that's all the way around there now. So I'm just going to slide this out. Just turn it round. And then, it's a glue there. And then we'll put some of this ribbon just through the top. Now, because you've got, with the other part, you can push the ribbon through and you can do like a little knot and it will stop it going through. But this ribbon's not thick enough so that. What, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it through there I'm going to tie a knot and then this will stop it coming through. So I'll do a double knot and then this will give you the um, same effect. So I'll just make that tight, snip off some extra bits like that. And then as you can see, you've got a new little handle there, which I think kind of matches in a little bit better. So there we go. Now with those, you can put sort of um, some tissue paper in the bottom. Um, you can give them with obviously the wine in. You know, you can do loads and loads of different things. I did actually, I've got um, a video of, I've decorated a wine bottle. Um, so that will be coming on the channel soon. So I'll keep, um, you know, keep that in mind because you could also put that in if somebody didn't drink. But also you don't have to put alcohol in. You know, you could put soft drinks in as well if you wanted to but go over the whole of it with some kind of finish so some kind of matte mod podge or the matte finish varnish anything like that because you will need to um seal them so they will need seeing because otherwise the paint will um may well come off so just slide that in like that and there we go that's them finished and I say they are quite different but I think they look really sweet I've, I've quite enjoyed doing them they've taken quite some time because um, obviously I've been doing two at the same time but um, hopefully it's not confused you too much and hopefully you're gonna be inspired to have a go have a go yourself so that's it thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed it then give me a thumbs up and if you do give it a go then um, let me know you can also tag me on Instagram or you can um, also tag me on Facebook where Becky's Crafts and Goodies on both. So um, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay and I will see you all again soon. You take care. Bye for now.